Good morning. What? Why are you throwing my stuff around? It's in my way. Crack my phone screen. Hello, I look tired. You look beautiful. Mm, thank you. My eyes are just puffy and it's really bright out. Hello, sir. <laughs> I swear every time I put the camera up on the dash to start like vlogging somebody, <laughs> that guy, I don't know if he was looking at you or me like with a camera in front of my face, but he was just like <laughs> staring at you. What the hell she doing? <clears throat> yeah. Where we have our we're at storage, we're picking up the trailer, but where we keep it, there's like a business next door where they, there's a bunch of like work trucks and heavy equipment and stuff and they're all like getting ready to head out for the day. Um, we're picking up the trailer from storage. If you haven't seen the last couple few videos, a few? <laughs> make sure you get caught up on that so that way you know what's going on. But picking up the cougar, taking it to the house, and today's the day that we begin... Renovations. Everything, yeah. We have uh, lots to do. Um, goal for today is to just start cleaning. Um, remove the dinette, remove the couch, um, kind of assess the situation, take notes on what all... I want to do, I need like a checklist, um, and deep clean. I'm going to give you guys a little tour of the trailer. It's been three and a half years roughly since we moved out of the trailer. We got it back. I vlogged that day. Um, so now we just need to get it ready to move into it because we are moving into it in less than three weeks. I'm going to get out and go help Donnie. He probably honestly doesn't even need my help. <laughs> I swear this man can just like back the truck up to a hitch and hook it up without anyone's help. I don't know. I'm thankful for him that he can do those things. Perfect. Well, I did not think that it was going to fit in our driveway. But it did. This is great news because now I can actually work on it more than just on the weekends if, since we can fit it in our driveway. She it's, got that on camera that first time. I know. Literally, he backed it. I backed it. I yeah, Brody helped, but we, we, we live at a dead end. Like, this is a dead end, and then it's a private driveway that we live on, and then there's a gate. That go, it's like an emergency gate that goes into a 55 and older community over there. So this is a dead end. Hey, what? Don't look at Donnie's butt, okay? <laughs> but Donnie backed around that corner, down here, and into this driveway, and all the way up to the house, one try. I'm telling you guys. He doesn't need 80 acres to turn this thing around. We're gonna get the slides pulled out and start assessing and cleaning. All right. I'm gonna give you guys a little empty house tour here. So if you haven't been around for a long time, we bought this trailer in 2019, sold our house, traveled for two and a half months. We lived in the trailer for six months total. Um, and then we bought this house where we are now. So, we just got this trailer back and it's all emptied out um, and it just needs to be cleaned and like fixed up a little bit. So I'm going to give you guys a little tour. So when you first walk in, got the little entryway, go straight into the bathroom, shower, toilet, sink, <laughs> you know, vanity, storage. And this goes into the master bedroom. We just pulled out the old mattress because we're going to be putting a new one in here. I'm going to shampoo the carpets on the sides there. Um, probably going to be painting that little built-in thing. I don't know. I don't 100% know what I'm going to do yet. But I'm probably going to be painting everything in here. Um, this lifts up and it is storage 
Um, and then there's a door on that side too that comes in. We got a TV in here. So then coming this way, we got the dinette. We're gonna be ripping all of this out today. Um, we're gonna build a custom, I have my breakfast in my hand. We're gonna build a custom bench right here, like a corner bench. Um, and then I have a table from Amazon that I wanna get. It's a round table and then we'll be able to put little baskets under the bench here for like shoes and stuff. And I'm gonna take down all of these blinds and put up roller shades. Um, we're gonna take out this couch, put in a different style, like a lightweight couch. It's the one that we have in the playroom right now. Um, I'm going to paint all the walls white. And I don't know if this is gonna get painted or not. Like it's in pretty good shape over here. All of this upper trim and the trim like around the slides um, we're gonna take down and replace with just some pretty stained wood. Um, and then over here is the kitchen. So I'm gonna paint the island like a really pretty kind of green color. Um, and then, like I said, white walls. I think I'm gonna, so all of this trim up here will be replaced with stained wood. Um, and then, I don't know. I don't know all the plans yet. If I'm gonna paint the upper cabinet, I think I'm gonna paint the lower part of the fireplace green to match the island, possibly paint the uppers white and like around the fridge white. And we'll do a rug right here. And then we have the kids bunk room. So we're gonna get, I need to measure these and order new mattresses for the kids bunks. So this one, when we originally bought this trailer, there was a couch under here that we took out um, just to make more room so we can put like a little cube shelf under there for clothes, toys, whatever. Um, so they have this whole area. I'm gonna shampoo all of that carpet. Um, and then, so yeah, there's the one bunk on this side and this one actually lifts up. So that lifts up if you want it to be open. And the kids closet, space, drawers, and then like tons of cabinets. And there's also cabinets up here and a TV. Um, and then the other two bunks are on this side. So these wood pieces here are like all peeling and stuff. So we're actually gonna take this off. It's just a few screws to take it off and replace it with some stained wood, stained and sealed wood. So very spacious bunk room. This is like, this was like the big selling point for us when we bought this trailer um, is because the kids had this huge bunk room with a door. So like their own space. And I think what we're gonna do is um, pick out wallpaper, like let the kids pick out wallpaper. Um, like each kid pick out wallpaper and then wallpaper their bunk with whatever wallpaper they pick out. So it's like, you know, personalized to them and they have their own personalized little space. So plans for today, um, what you're probably gonna see in this video is us taking all of this out because it has to be like demolished and taken out. So we'll be removing all of that today. I'm gonna be taking down all the blinds today I got the oil diffuser going in here. I've got peppermint and fighting five from Eden's Garden going in here. So it smells so much better already. Um, but yeah, we just need to deep clean everything and take stuff out of here before any sort of like painting or anything like that can go on. Um, so that is the plan. But this this is our, our new old home. Our old home that we're gonna live in again. And I'm so freaking excited to share the transformation with you guys and just to see to see it all come to life. We've got about three weeks to transform this place, so <laughs> here we go. All right, here we go. We are diving into this trailer renovation. The first thing that we are doing is getting this dinette taken apart. So Donnie just threw the cushions outside. There were some things left um, under one of the benches. So we're getting rid of that stuff. 
and then we are going to we I mean Donnie is gonna start taking this stuff apart he's gonna unscrew the table mounts from the floor and then we will see the real <laughs> the real color of the carpet under there when we take that out um, pretty shocking so then the table or the not the table the benches you can see they're just made out of like two by fours and whatnot um, and some paneling and so he got his drill and just started unscrewing everything and then there was a little bit of um, wood that was like built around some electrical down there so he had to get his sawzall and just saw that in half and get this stuff ripped out of here so we can move on with the whole the whole process so I'm gonna let this footage roll and let the music play of him getting these uh, benches taken out of here So it was at this point that we realized we were going to have to rip this carpet out because it wasn't just dirty, it was actually covered in cat pee. So that was producing a horrible smell um, throughout the whole trailer. If you've never smelled anything that was covered in cat pee, uh, you are very lucky. It is not, it is not pleasant and you can see there on the carpet there is a lot of it. So. Um, we are working on getting the couch out of here, which was a little bit tricky. We actually tried doing it um, a couple weeks ago when we moved Donnie's dad out of here, but with the bench right by the front door, it didn't fit. So once we got those benches out, we were able to get the couch out, um, no problem. And then we were coming in to assess the carpet situation. So originally I thought I was just gonna be able to like shampoo these carpets and it was gonna be like good to go, no problem. But once we got the furniture out, we realized we cannot we cannot be leaving this carpet in here. Shampooing it is not going to save it. So we went ahead and just started ripping up the carpet. Um, and actually the carpet was laid down before like the walls were put up or like the board, you know, the, the paneling that goes up inside trailers. So Donnie had to rip it out um, and kind of pull up all the staples and then go back through and cut and then pull out all of the carpet that was up under the paneling on the walls. So uh, he went and got gloves because I was like, stop touching that carpet <laughs> with your bare hands. Let's get some gloves on. And um, so, yeah, we're going to we're going to get to work pulling all this nasty carpet out. So while he is working on pulling that extra carpet out from under the paneling, I am working on taking down the blinds. Um, we had put up these mini blinds before we moved out of this trailer. Um, we had removed like the valances and like the paper 
kind of blinds that came with the trailer and put up these little mini blinds but they were pretty much all destroyed and just pretty dirty so we decided to remove all of those and we're going to be putting up just some roller blinds from Lowe's um, once we get like all the painting and stuff done so you guys will see that obviously in a later video but I like how clean looking those are so we're definitely going to be doing those um, so I removed all the blinds and I'm also just taking the drill and removing all the brackets as well. Will you call me back? Yeah, I know that. Yeah, I know that. Though they're traveling kind, it's a known fact. Yeah, I know that. Mm. Once you've seen all the things, all the places, I hope it means that you come home. Alright, he got all that carpet pulled out of the edges and vacuumed up all the little pieces and I got all the brackets taken down in the main living area. So now I'm going to do the same thing in the bunk room, just get all these little brackets taken down from where the blinds were hanging. Once you've seen all the things, all the places, I hope it means that you come home to me. Once you travel the world, all the spaces inside your heart. Brackets are all down in the bunk room, so now I am removing these wood pieces from the front of the bunks. Like I was telling you guys, we were just going to put some stained wood here instead just to make it look cleaner and nicer. So just removing the screws and throwing that wood outside of the trailer in our junk pile. Yeah, no, that. Yeah, no, that. Yeah, the traveling kind. All right, now I'm just taking a screwdriver and popping these little button cover things off of this trim above the slide, and then taking the drill and I'm gonna start removing all of the screws. And then it started to come down and it was actually a lot heavier than I thought it was. So Donnie came in and helped me get that out and we threw that out into the junk pile. We're gonna be replacing this trim that I'm taking down with just a solid piece of wood and stain it a pretty stain color. I'm thinking Kona, it's like my go-to stain color. Um, and then it will match like the little trim pieces that go along the ceiling and stuff like that So I'm gonna try out Kona and see how we feel about that But moving right along we're just gonna continue on pulling all of the like paneling trim stuff off around all of the slides You say you only wanna be best friends. I just wanna be a damn girlfriend. What I gotta do to make you face the truth? You didn't act like a friend that night. Maybe that's why it felt so right. Do I really need to spell it out for you? So why? Why are you trying to hide your curiosity? When I know you call my name out in your sleep. Tell me, friend, can't you see? You're in love with me. It's obvious we are that.
Tony's taking the shop vac to this uh, heater vent here in the bunk room full of who knows what. But he's gonna get all the crumbs and junk vacuumed out of there. There was a lot of like stuck on crusted who knows what in there as well. So that will get cleaned out here in a little bit when I start deep cleaning this bunk room. Um, but for now, I've just vacuumed it out and there's our junk pile for the day. Let me replay that for you guys. That is all of the junk that we pulled out of the trailer today that is going bye-bye. So things are looking like we're making a little progress in here. We're taking things down and getting things cleaned. It's obvious we are that. All right, I'm gonna get ready to start cleaning now. It is much later in the day. We had some other stuff to take care of, but um, I just brought out a bowl, a giant bowl of hot soapy water and a whole, a whole slew of cleaning rags. I'm gonna start in the bunk room and I'm basically just gonna wipe down every single surface. I don't have a bucket. I don't know how I don't have a bucket, so I just had to use like a giant bowl um, with hot soapy water, got cleaning gloves, um, I'm just going to start top to bottom basically, wipe down all of the walls, the window frames, the cabinets, um, and then work my way down to the floors. Um, so I did vacuum in here just real quick, but I am going to take the shop vac so I can get like, you know, all of the nooks and crannies. There's like cat litter everywhere. From my father-in-law's kitty cats so um the carpet in here is fine as you guys saw earlier the carpet in the living room was not salvageable i'm gonna be able to just clean this as you guys saw we had to fully rip out all the carpet here so i have a call in mm -hmm. to the dealership where we bought our trailer in 2019 to see if we can get a replacement piece there it doesn't sound like we're gonna be able to so i think we're just gonna have to go to like a carpet store here in town, probably where we got the carpet for when we did the office, um, and just have a piece cut uh, to length, and then Donnie can cut like the little cutout here, um, and then hopefully we can get one that has like the binding along the edge of it. So we will see about that, but I have um, uh, Fighting Five and Peppermint going all day in the oil diffuser, so it's smelling much better in here from Eden's Garden. Smelling much better. We've had the windows open all day. However, it is getting kind of chilly in here. So hopefully I <laughs> get a little sweat going while I start wiping all of this stuff down. But so I'm going to get my cleaning gloves on and start scrubbing. We were just working on so much other stuff today and it took a long time to rip that carpet out. And um, yeah, it's been a day. So I'm going to get to work on scrubbing. gonna be you gotta give me something what's it gonna be are we gonna do this or not i really need to know if you're in or out you don't have to say the words just look in my eyes tell me friend oh can't you see what you mean to me
respect for your boundaries Girl, you hit too close to the edge now Only thing they got is toxicity Think you need a cleanse, feel it out You got the facts, but they ain't got yours You've done enough, but they still want more You've been a good friend down to the core Oh, oh, oh. Hold up, baby, don't take it In a friendship if they just fake it You don't need to put up with their bullshit I just found Berkeley's little diamond earrings that she got her ears pierced with when she was one. Cause we must have, she must have, you know what? 
her her third birthday we were in New York when we traveled in 2019 she got new earrings for her birthday and we took these out and I must have just set them in this cabinet but look at her little her little diamonds they're still in there oh my gosh All right, I am almost done. I'm just gonna vacuum out this cabinet or this closet, wipe it down, steam mop the floors, and we'll be done <clears throat> with the bunk room cleaning <laughs> for the night. <laughs> okay, Alexa, play. Okay, well, I am going to call it a night. I got this whole bunk room scrubbed from top to bottom. Um, and I was just kind of cleaning under the carpet right here. And I don't know, I really hope I can salvage the carpet in here. I'm gonna run my carpet cleaner on it probably tomorrow. There's one spot though that is cat pee that's why we had to pull out the other carpet is because um under the table it was it wasn't just dirty it was cat peed all over it so there's you can salvage dirty carpet you know if it's just dirty but cat pee is like a whole other story so definitely don't want to be living with that or try to like I mean, you just can't, you can't save carpet like that. So pulled that one out, but I just don't know about this one. The spot, I thought it was just dirty, but that's not dirt. And that is really unfortunate. So we might have to be pulling this one out too. I don't know. I'm going to have Donnie look at it and I'm going to run my carpet cleaner on that spot and just see what happens and see if I can get it like sucked out. But I got everything scrubbed down in there. So we are making progress. It's just day one. It's a little overwhelming looking around, seeing everything that we have to do, but it's going to be great. It's going to be worth it. It's going to be great. This is what we want. And, um, it's gonna it's all good everything's fine everything everything's fine <laughs> you know um but bunk room it's totally clean besides the carpet we will figure that out if we have to just match up the carpets and do both of them at the same time so be it we're already we're already doing it anyways so you know what's well, a little bit more it's all good that's just part of doing even in a house whenever you're doing renovations you always think it's going to go one way and then you end up uncovering things, you know, and then you have more projects to do. So everything is wiped down in there. Um, so that is a big first step. And then we just got so much done today as far as tearing things out. Um, so tomorrow is just going to be another cleaning day. I'm going to, I'm done cleaning the bunk room. Um, so now tomorrow I'm going to start cleaning the whole like main living area, wiping all the walls and cabinets and the kitchen, the whole, the whole nine. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up. I am absolutely drained, drained. 
just a lot today. Not only working on this, but we had like house stuff and other stuff going on today too. So it's just been like a day. So I'm gonna go in and take a bath, get the kids, well, I'm gonna go get the kids like ready for bed. Um, take a bath and relax for the rest of the night. So thank you guys for watching. <laughs> we have a lot, a lot more of this kind of stuff coming up. I cannot wait to see the finished product. I'm just so ready to be like moved in here and you know, done with the hard stuff, but that is life. We got to do the hard stuff to reach our goals, you know? So we will be back at it tomorrow. I will be filming every single thing that I work on in this trailer. So I hope you guys are ready for that. And I've been sharing over on Instagram too, just like sneak peeks along the way. So, um, that is fun. But if you guys are new here, thank you so much for watching. Um, if you're here for the RV content, you're going to get lots of it. So subscribe if you are new. And to those of you that are already subscribed, thank you so much for being here. We appreciate you. We love you. And I will see you guys in my next video very soon. Good night.